So my wife was di diagnosed with breast cancer shortly after my son was born. Um, and we had only been married for about a year. Um, it was a total whirlwind. At first, you really don't want to come to the terms with, you know, this is really serious. It was more like, all right, let's go to the doctor. We're gonna, you know, do chemo. You're young, you're gonna fight, and it's, it's, it's not gonna be a problem, you know. I still remember the first doctor that we saw, the oncologist, they, she said, because of the type of cancer that you have, um, you can either uh, fight it, and it's gonna be miserable because the chemo sucks, radiation sucks, or you can live a little bit more peacefully and just, you know, succumb to the cancer. Um, that was like the first, first doctor's appointment we had. Um, and of course we didn't, we, we weren't gonna be satisfied with just letting it, letting it be. Um, so we got second opinions. Unfortunately, because she was so young, the type of cancer that she has was, was even more aggressive. Um, so she did chemo, she did radiation, um, and they, the doctors thought they had it and they got it under, under control and um, got it taken care of. But it came back with a vengeance and spread throughout her body shortly after, um, I think probably about a year after she was diagnosed. Um, it was, it was, um, it, it, it came back and, and you know, took over. Unfortunately, it, it took her life. So I'm originally from Kansas City, uh, Overland Park, Kansas. I grew up there my whole entire life uh, for the past 32 years. Um, and I, two years ago, moved here to Virginia. So I just, I felt to grow and, and, and really to, to get over being the guy who lost his wife. You know, I'm here, no one really knows that. Where I just needed to challenge myself, try something that I've never done before. I just said screw it and I was gonna, I was gonna try it and see how I liked it. Um, and, and shortly after starting it, my goal then became, I wanna try to fight in, in an amateur fight. So the weeks leading up to the fight, I always get a little nervous, a little anxious. You get a whirlwind of, of emotions. Um, did I train hard enough? Did I do enough to, um, with my strength and conditioning? Am I gonna be able to last all, you know, all the whole fight? Um, is my technique sound? Am I gonna remember when, when I'm exhausted to, to fall back on the technique that, that I've been taught. As long as I've prepared, I've done everything coaches asked me to, um, and I've worked my ass off, I feel confident it doesn't matter who's on the other side of that ring, who's in front of me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play my game. A split decision. 